If you need any FIFA 19 Ultimate Team coins, check out MuleFactory.com. They're cheap and reliable, very, very fast service. You won't get banned when buying coins. And also use my discount code IHAS5 when checking out to get a decent discount. What is up? Welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to snipe on FIFA 19. And yes, there is a new way to snipe. It is faster, easier, and better than all previous FIFAs, and we'll get into that shortly. Before I do show the sniping method, you guys know the drill. I'm doing a FIFA 19 giveaway. All you need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel down below, and there are more ways to enter in the description. So if you don't know what sniping is, basically, you find the price of a player on the FIFA market, then you need to find what his minimum price is, and then basically you're constantly searching the market over and over again so then you can actually pick up the card for very cheap and make a decent bit of profit. So previously there have been I'd say three different ways to snipe on FIFA. I'm going to go over those methods and then I'm going to show you the brand new method which is faster than all of them. So first off of course you need to find your player that you are going to snipe. So in this example I'm going to go with Zaha here. So he's going for about... 17.2 thousand coins roughly so i'll call it we're going to sell him at 17.5 coins so if you don't know there's a five percent ea tax on any card you sell so if i sell a card for 17.5k i'm only going to get back 16.6 so then i want to pick a card up for maybe like 15.5k or cheaper to pick up a deal on a snipe so the normal way to snipe is you change the price down you press back you press search so then basically if you're on xbox you go a a again change the price down one go back and then search because every time on console you have to change your search criteria for it to allow you to actually search like the new market again so the old way of sniping you'd basically be doing like this you'd be pressing a lot of buttons and it's it's a bit it's a bit of hassle but this was the old way to snipe and it's still pretty easy it's still pretty fast however there is a new quicker way so that way it's just standard sniping you guys will know that also after i've shown all the methods i will show you my hand movements if you guys are new and want to know how i'm pressing buttons fast but that's the first way to snipe the second way to snipe you actually need to have the player search on your like on the market already so say we find zaha's minimum buy now 17.5k the second way to do it is you can press transfer target so you press y or triangle so you go to your transfer targets you press back and then the market will be refreshed so you go transfer targets press back and the market has been refreshed and you keep doing this over and over again until you see a second card pop up on the market when the second card does show up you obviously will have to move your controller to the right go down and then you would in fact buy it. and i could buy that card but I'm only going to make 100 coins. I can't really be bothered to buy that. The third way is basically the same, but you press compare price. I believe the compare price method is slightly faster than transfer targets. But they're, they're both like quite slow. However, if you do these methods, you have less chance to get banned because you are pressing less buttons. So yeah, you could do the compare price. Wait, 16.2. That's actually a deal. And someone's already bought it. I was not looking on the market. Don't mind me. And there are no cards left. So yeah, you can compare price and go back like this. So those are the standard sniping methods. Very, very simple. But we have the new way. I don't know what I'm going to call it. It's just it's the IS carrot sniping method. I don't think I've seen anybody else do this. And I was just sniping. And to be honest, I'd say I did this by accident. But it actually works and you snipe so far. So what you need to do. Again, you need to find the minimum buy now. Find what you're going to buy your player for. So we're going to go for 16k or cheaper. You need to set your match price to 15 million coins. Well, like very high. You just press the right trigger. And usually you change the price, search, go back, change the price, search, go back. It's basically the same thing. However, when you change the price before you would have to press back and then you search. What you can actually do on FIFA is if you hold your stick to the left, the price will go down on its own. And then you just press search press A, uh, OK, and then you just hold the left stick to the left, press search, so you're just going YA, YA, or triangle X, I believe, on PlayStation, and you're literally just spamming two buttons on your controller because the price is changing on its own every single time, so you don't have to worry about pressing back each time you confirm the price change. And this is literally the sniping method, and I'm not. I, you can go full speed and like search at like a mega fast speed, but the only problem is you are pressing like buttons so much faster than you would before. EA will throw you out of Ultimate Team like this. But when you know cards are being listed on the market 
and you know that cards like are able to be sniped, you will be instantly on the cards because there's no delay. You don't have to press back and then search. It's just search, 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 search. Like it's instant. So with this new sniping method, I will try and pick up a deal live and show you. We'll get Zaha. I'll go 16 point. I'll go 16.5k just so we can pick up a card. We'll only make 100 coins if there's one for that. But I'm just going to show you that the sniping method works. With this way as well, you don't have to go full speed. You can just take your time pressing Y then A or Y then uh, triangle then X on PlayStation. But yeah, it's just two buttons pressing. If anything, it's easier than sniping before because you have to press less buttons. It's only two buttons back and forth over and over again. So you don't have to worry about like getting them in the wrong order. And you can actually do that quicker if you needed to. So you just have to sit here and wait for somebody to list up a card. Sniping currently though, not as many cards are being listed because it's only EA access. So not too many people are actually getting the players yet. But when it hits console, oh my god, I'm going to pick up a lot of deals. I'll probably cut to when I can actually pick up a card. Or I'll show you a, I'll show you a clip which I got earlier of picking up a Zaha using this method. And I was going full speed. So you can see here, search, 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 search. It's just like you just press search, you press OK, it's that fast, and then card pops up. It's the usual. When you're on the card, you go on it, you go down, up, buy, whatever. I can't even remember the combo, but you guys know how to buy a card on the market. It's that simple. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my camera and show my hand movement if you guys want to see that, and we will get a live snipe. Okay, so I believe this is a slightly better shot. You can see my controller here. There is my screen. So... The method again, you go on that, you hold left so the price is changing and then you just go YA, YA and there is a deal, we will pick that. Okay, that was a bit old. We missed that deal but I just searched. So again, you go max price, set it to 15 mil so you have time for it to actually scroll down and then you hold left and then go YA, 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 there's a deal, we'll pick that one up. Nope, we missed it because I was just explaining things. Okay, YA, YA, here we go. Next card will be ours, do not worry. And this sniping method, again, you can see it's so much easier because I'm literally just here pressing two buttons, just going up and down with my thumb. And then you just have to wait for a card to get listed up. So there were two cards there previously, so hopefully one will just pop up quite fast. Oh, and EA throw me out of the market because I was searching too much, but... Again, just reset your pro... Have I got a market ban? No way. Well. Oh, no. I think I'm going to get through. Okay. I nearly got a market ban already. That is the one downside of this method. You will get a ban faster than before. Just because you are searching so much quicker. But, again, you should find more deals. So, it should be okay. So, here we go again. Just searching. I think there's a good angle on my camera. I'm literally balancing it on my lap. But here we have some searching. Come on, somebody list up a card. I'll just I'll go a bit slower just so a card can get listed up. So I can actually pick one up. Here we go. 6.2. And there we go. Nobody is being you to a snipe, ladies and gentlemen. What do we pick that up? 16.2. I'll list it for 17.5. Actually, no, I think I can go a bit more. I'll go 17.750. And there we go. So, that is the new way to snipe. Go out there. Snipe some icons. Snipe some ones to watch cards. Snipe whatever you want. Get some good deals. And make sure to send them in for top 5 trades of the week, which will be returning. But that has been it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know how the new sniping method works for you. It's a lot easier. It's a lot faster. The only downside would be that you may have a high chance of getting like thrown off the market. However, if you know you're going to pick up some cards, it's worth doing it this way. But thank you for watching again. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you on my next video.